It's Ninja Nance. It's phenomenal. Indeed. Thank you guys for coming, and we'll see you soon. James Brown, New Center 7. Thank you. Now, he is graduating from CJ this month and will head to the University of Cincinnati in the fall, but he promises the Ninja Nannies will be back to check on them. If you know anyone making a difference, make sure you send James more information on Facebook or you can email him at james.brown at whiotv.com. And now, your Storm Center 7 forecast with Chief Meteorologist McCall Brydags. <laughs> hey, I'll wait for you, McCall. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Live television. Oh, that's okay. Well, okay. I mean, hey, the, hey. Well, hey, hello. Here I am. Hello. Yeah. No, well, she was over there. There wasn't was a stool. You had to carry it over. No. She was walking, and she's got these great heels on. So no. it takes a little time. Only go so fast. Hey, so you was, made it. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, and you know what else made it? But the sun and the warm temperatures coming. I know. We're Thankfully. getting so close to it, and this weekend is going to be fantastic. Now, yesterday I was saying we were dry through the whole weekend. Okay. Today, that has changed a little bit. I've noticed the chance for rain coming in on Sunday. A little is better than a lot. Exactly. Plus, we're going to see some warmer temperatures. So, we got to look at that glass half full. Yes. Uh, when we're looking at the cool weather and the rainy conditions we had to start the week. <laughs> I look so much taller than you right now. Well, we didn't adjust. <laughs> it's okay. All right, let's get right to the <laughs> forecast. We do have quiet conditions right now across the Miami Valley, as you can see in Troy. That flag is not blowing in any wind for us tonight as we are going to keep it calm and comfortable as we move right on through tonight into the start of tomorrow morning. Temperatures right now in the Miami Valley are sitting in the 40s. That's pretty much where we're going to stay for the rest of tonight. Here's a look at our satellite and radar imagery across the Miami Valley. You can see throughout the Buckeye State, back to the south and west. We're clear. That's what's going to stay in place for us tonight and really through most of the day tomorrow, with the exception of just a few clouds around. Stepping out the door in the morning, 46 degrees, so not as chilly as we had earlier this week, but cool enough that you will want the jacket. But by the afternoon, we're going to go to transition into t-shirt weather as those highs are going to be rising into the 70s. By lunchtime, we get to about 66 degrees and then low 70s by 4 in the afternoon. That's right on target for what we should have in the beginning of May for Cinco de Mayo. You can have some tacos outside. Maybe there are some taco uh, food trucks across the Miami Valley to enjoy. 72 degrees right on through 7 o'clock tomorrow night, and we keep it mostly sunny. Now let me show you the weekend forecast. Again, I told you it's changing a little bit here. 8 o'clock in the morning Saturday, we have plenty of sunshine. Clouds will start to fill in as we head into the afternoon and evening. But we're dry, so Saturday plans are going to be great. If you have any derby parties, outside barbecues, great forecast for you there. Then on Sunday, I do see the chance for some wet weather to develop as early as 6 o'clock in the morning. And then there is going to be the chance for some showers and storms into your Sunday. This is just one model trend where it showed that quick moving shower and thunderstorm line in the morning through midday. I've seen others that show the chance for those showers and storms waiting until the afternoon. I'll just say keep coming back for updates because that may change, but I am seeing that increased chance for rain and storms during some point of the day on Sunday. Saturday, we'll have that mostly sunny sky, 75. Sunday, that chance for a few storms around and highs to the upper 70s despite the rain and storms. We move into Monday and Tuesday, a few more shower and thunderstorm chances there. We're still in the 70s, then we'll dry back out for the middle and end of next week. Thanks, McCall. New tonight out of Mercer County, a designated outdoor refreshment area is coming to Salina. 